Welcome to Sandwiches of History. Today from 1001 Sandwiches of 1936, we're going to be making the bacon and watercress sandwich. I'll give you two guesses what's in it. If you guess bacon, you were right. And guess what? Watercress. Woo! But that's not all. Mayonnaise. Now we put that onto white bread. And yeah, I'm using the butt. Got to use the whole loaf. Some call them the heels. Some call them the ends. Some just uh, call it Maurice. <laughs> okay, let's give this bacon and watercress sandwich a go. There's no way this wasn't going to taste good. You've got the peppery bite of the watercress, you've got the smoky bacon, and you've got the richness of the mayonnaise. I mean, come on. It's like shooting fish in a barrel if the fish were bacon and watercress. Um, I do want to plus it up with one thing, though. I'm going to add some fresh tomato, salt, pepper. Okay, let's give this bacon and watercress sandwich plus up with the uh, tomato that's been seasoned. A go. Yeah, it's like a, a peppery BLT, a, a BWT, if you will. Man, I hope that's not an acronym for something I don't know of. <laughs> <laughs> Peppery watercress, smoky bacon, sweet uh, fresh tomato, and mayonnaise. This is tasty. All right, so the original bacon and watercress sandwich, I don't think that was intended as like a lunch sandwich. It almost feels like a tea sandwich, which means I probably made it a little bit too big, but whatever. Um, Flavor-wise, it was delicious. I loved it. I think I'm going to give that like a seven and a half as a tea sandwich, plus up with a little seasoned tomato, eight and a half. Uh, I would eat this any day is really a tasty maneuver. And if you couldn't get watercress, eh, maybe do it with arugula because that has a nice peppery bite too. Definitely gonna finish that and I will see you tomorrow. <laughs>